Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. Oh, wow. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. Previously, the two pictures were very rigid and 90 degree corners, but this one looks like DNA. It looks like genetics. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Hey, this is a little bit difficult because I feel like the reason why I want them destroyed is be not- It's not because they're AI or machines or whatever, it's because they allied with the Reapers. So even if they were normal organic beings, I would still want them destroyed. But I don't want to say the Geth need to die in front of Legion, though. Like, that's... Why are we saving the Geth? We already tried doing this once. Instead of destroying the heretics, we... try to change their mind and all that, and it didn't work out. <laughs> Is this gonna work out again? Ah. Uh... Well, let's give it a try. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not yeah. suggesting anything. All I'm saying is maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. I gave in to your reckless behavior beforehand. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is and try to kill me. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior beforehand. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates. You want to fight the war. And I don't want to fight the war. Off again, like last time. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. 
And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Hey, the... The Crucible here, it's getting less red. Less of a blueprint, or a, a red print, I guess. And more, like, it's actually getting built and stuff. That's good, I suppose. What just happened? Yes, Admiral Zalkoris. When Admiral Zalkoris sacrificed his vessel to save a live ship, the civilian fleet thought they'd lost their leader. After Commander Shepard brought Zalkoris back, he passionately argued that the safest action for the civilian fleet was to stay with the flotilla. His captains rallied and stayed. The story of Zalkoris' miraculous survival on Geth-invested Rannoch has spread throughout the flotilla, making him a reluctant hero as he mourns the loss of his shipping crew. Hmm. I thought the heavy fleet just updated. No? That's it? Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. You don't need to give I'm me that. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, <laughs> Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? You don't need to hand me the iPad every time. I'll let you get back to work. Actually, hold on. Thank you, Commander. Might be worth knowing about the new status of the patrol fleet and the heavy fleet. Commander? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly like- What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt? It was our main military force before the war. Yeah. Uh, it can't compare to the two. It's the same. Oops. Thank you, Commander. All right. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. We'll get the fighter squadrons first. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. It trips me up every single time because this lady has the exact same haircut as me. Like what? Oh my god, we look the same. From behind. Maybe I should switch my outfit again. But there's no other good outfit. It's this one or the other one. That's it. The hoodie is too casual. The dress, no. And just... Uh. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position. And just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them... They're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Like a miniature model. My cousin Dorn, from Nabteal Vas Grigolt. Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zalkora stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The admiral told me you met my cousin Dorn Haz on Rannoch. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. No, he wasn't alone at all. He was on the homeworld. The civilian fleet thanks you, from Shalaran Vast Tonbe. Zalkoros' return has saved many civilian ships, Commander. Thank you again for finding him on Rannoch. No worries. The homeworld, from Tally. As horrible as it was down there, part of me is still amazed I've set foot on Rannoch. Yeah, no kidding, right? And we'll be going there again. At least twice more. You guys doing all right? Yeah, the Corians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and... I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. <laughs> maybe you can wear it when you're not driving the ship then? Like, maybe when you're going to the Citadel or something. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently, putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? 
You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. Oh, that's true. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep him safe from the Geth and themselves. Yeah, I never thought about it like that. Hmm. They were desperate, and they still are. Commander. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce- Uh-oh. What? <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. <laughs> I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. <laughs> You're scary, Edie. Hello, Shepard. Every day you get more and more scary. I worry a bit. The the synthetics are slowly invading our ship too. Edie, Legion, what's next? An entire Geth party right here? Commander. We've got to be careful. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Ah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey. The Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Hmm. Ma'am. Enjoying the last mission somehow doesn't seem like the right way to put it. Hey. Hey, hey. Okay, well, we had our run with this gun. I am okay with trying another gun. It wasn't bad, but maybe I'm so used to the Maddox, I don't even... How does this compare to the Maddox, actually? Heavier, but higher capacity? Well, we can keep trying other stuff. Vindicator? Any N7 stuff, or the particle rifle. This is mechanically different from the other stuff, right? So it could be one that's worth trying. Sure. But super heavy. Like, mega heavy. Don't have to worry about capacity. We'll try upgrading a, li a little bit. Mm -hmm. How much though? I'm spending a lot of upgrades on like random weapons that I'll use once and never again. So maybe not the maximum amount of upgrades, just a little bit. Oh, the weight didn't change. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I upgraded the Geth Pulse Rifle. Was that the Geth Pulse Rifle? That's the Particle Rifle. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, now it's pretty light, actually. Try this one out. This one doesn't need any capacity upgrades, right? It's already pretty insane. Oh, <laughs> we can make it full. Increases rounds per magazine by 70%. Well, it's low damage, but high capacity. Okay, maybe that's that's gonna be a good one. Sure. And I'll do this one as my my constant for now. I still feel like in the end, I'm gonna fall back to the Maddox, but for now, we can play around a little bit. Okay. Oh. Where'd you go? You're not here. Oh my god. Okay. Javik is elsewhere. Commander. I suspect you guys are gonna Commander. be pretty quiet until we do the next big thing. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them oh, man. or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Terra Nova. That was the one asteroid planet. Commander. The one planet that was gonna get destroyed by the asteroid? Ash? Got any insight on the Geth? Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. 
Hope I never have to find out. I hate to say it, but if I ever got into that kind of position, I feel like a lot of people would sacrifice their lives for me. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? Shepard? Part of me feels a little bit bad for having so many leader, uh, leadership potential people here, like Garrus and Ash, especially since Ash is now a Spectre. She might be more useful elsewhere. No crew health issues to report. No crew okay. health issues to report. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right do your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Oh my god, stop. Just stay in your own room, Javik, okay? Stop going around bothering people. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. No, close all four of them and just get back into your little bathtub, okay? I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. Can you just go back to your room, please? The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. Wait, but your staring contests still go on as long as one eye is open? Is that what you're saying? Because my understanding is that as long as any of them blink, the competition should end. I would prefer to be alone. Javik is kind of... he reminds me a little bit of back when we first got the Normandy and the humans were all like, Oh my god, aliens are on board! Whether you feel Edie and Legion are conscious or not, and if they're worthy of your respect or not, it doesn't change that they're a part of our crew, so can you just drop it and focus on the Reapers? Dad. Dad. Uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Oh no. Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits, if you really do exist, please watch over them. Let me see them again. <sighs> That's hard. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Good to see you. In a way, Shepard's really lucky because everyone she could ever care or love is basically all on the ship because I'm an orphan. I don't have to care about my parents back on Earth or anything like that. But everyone else here is not so lucky. Please, enjoy your day. Ready for the next mission? Liara, why do you never say anything? Ready for the next mission? Seriously, everyone else has way more ambient dialogue. Was there anyone else here? Dr. Cha- No, we're fine. Alright. Like the Geth plasma shotgun, the Spitfire is not a true energy weapon. Instead, the minigun magnetically flings clusters of superconducting toroids. 
These donut-shaped projectiles are designed to shatter upon impact, arcing electricity between the fragments and flash converting them to plasma. The gun's punishing automatic blasts impact with the heat of a cutting torch. The weapon's stopping power has garnered the attention of both Alliance and Quarian intelligence, who theorize that the Spitfire may have been designed to destroy other Geth. Mm. Enough Spitfires have been found in the field to suggest that the weapon is out of the prototyping stage and that a schism among synthetics may have forced them into production. They're not monolithic. They are arguing too. Mercenaries, Blue Sons, founded by notorious Batarian slaver Solum Dalsera. The Blue Sons began as a Scillian Verge protection racket providing genuine protection from slavers and pirates. Eventually captured by the Systems Alliance Navy, Dalsera beat almost two dozen charges to be convicted on a single count of conspiracy. The slaver benefited from the tutelage of cellmate and brilliant con artist Bernard Legit's Ledger. Upon release five years later, Dalsera incorporated Blue Suns as a legal security agency. Today, the Blue Suns boast a galaxy-wide force of Batarians, Turians, humans, and Krogan. Each deployment is backed by a logistics corpse selling everything from heavy weapons to shaving cream. Oh, wow. Despite claims that Blue Suns sells its captives as slaves, no Blue Suns employee has ever been convicted on such charges. Many Blue Suns members sport the company logo in tattoo form, removed during assignments and reapplied at mission end. Oh yeah, I remember this. We read about this back in 2. These are probably repeats, but I forgot them, so sure. Brainchild of Asari Commando Jonas Sedaris, who is now in jail and not coming out. Eclipse was incorporated as a proactive security company. Influenced by Asari and Salarian military doctrine, Eclipse specializes in sabotage, assassination, and personal and organizational security. Although the Citadel governments regard the corporation with suspicion, it's embraced in the Skillian Verge and Terminus systems. Early on, Sedaris sought government contracts to establish market share against the better-established Blue Suns. Her agency scored a galactic PR coup by retaking several space stations captured by the Anher People's Liberation Army and neutralizing its leaders, a victory Eclipse's marketing department never ceases trumpeting. Based on Omega Station, Eclipse controls nearly 20% of the asteroid's real estate. Its services range from mech repair to open warfare, although assassination is reserved for meeting wider, longer-term company goals, for example, preemptive strikes against pirates, rather than murdering spouses for insurance money. Despite numerous reports, Eclipse denies sabotaging or kidnapping business rivals. Oh, sure, I'm sure. The Blood Pack Originally a small Terminus Systems Vorcha gang, the Blood Pack was transformed into a legend legion by visionary Krogan Battlemaster Ganar Rang. Yeah, yeah. Exiled for striking a female in anger. Yes, yes, I remember this. Rang obsessed over reclaiming his lost status. It was a wife beater. Leading the Vorcha Pack as a pirate crew, Rang cultivated recruits and in infamy for a decade before incorporating his fighters as a security company across the Scalian Verge. His notoriety ensured his initial public offering for investors made him rich beyond most Krogan's dreams. Rang returned triumphantly to his clan, rallying elders, Krogan hordes, and their firepower and biotic support toward professional violence in the terminal's terminus systems. Banned from Citadel space, the Blood Pack bribes its way through spaceports into armed conflicts across the galaxy. Priding themselves for accepting otherwise untouchable contracts, the Blood Pack rejects bodyguarding and security in favor of cases requiring minimal oversight and maximal violence. Now, they don't really mention how the Blood Packs are like way more Vorcha than Krogan's now. Yeah, that would have been a nice little update. Let's finish up that last Geth Fighter Squadron, and then we'll go back to the Citadel. How does that sound? I believe that is this one? We cannot bring Tali. Yeah, because it's not the priority one, right? But it doesn't make sense to me that we're not bringing Tali to Rannoch. Tali and... James. It's been a while since I've brought Javik, actually, but James. Alright, we are good, I think. Uh, James, would you like to try the Geth rifle, just like me? Or maybe you can try the Matic. Yeah. Venom shotgun. I gotta upgrade some shotgun, okay? Just one shotgun, so that somebody can have one good thing going on here. Damage increasing. Melee damage. Eh, there you go. Some more damage mods for ya. Oh, 
Oh, you don't have any mods. Tally. Here you go. I don't know how much it actually does though, because when we're fighting, I'm so preoccupied with worrying about myself that I don't have time to confirm if your weapons being better or worse really even does anything. Most of the time, I use you guys for your powers. So, I mean, just keep doing whatever you're doing. I feel like it's probably working. Hopefully. James? Oh, it's been a while. 26. God. Um, Arms Master. Yeah, make us a little bit buffer. That'd be good. And then Fortification Frag Grenade. Okay, just Frag Grenade. Damage to armor or shields. That really depends on what we're fighting. Here, maybe maybe armor because Geth, I feel like Geth, actually Geth have shields, don't they? I don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Incendiary ammo. Squad mates gain incendiary ammo at 50% effectiveness. Yeah, this one I never really took the time to understand properly, but does it, do we have to activate it or does it just work? Because if so, then that's pretty good. Mm hmm Increase power damage and force. Oh, I don't have points anyway. And then tally. Okay, we're all good. Commander, it is as we feared. Guest squadrons have begun massing on a path to intercept our live ships. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. Mm. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. It's kind of like VR, right? Yeah, like the holographic stuff we saw back on Project Overlord. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. Hmm. <laughs> this had better be worth flying straight through a war zone. We have compromised local Geth systems. They will remain dormant until our work is complete. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not gonna... Whoa, 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 dude! Let's set the shuttle <laughs> down by the cliff. You have to realize, some things you do are just very frightening looking for us organics, okay? <laughs> they don't even need to worry about stuff like atmospheric re-entry or oxygen tanks in space, nothing like that. Neither do the Reapers. We sightseeing today? Wait, if I'm going into a virtual world, then what about my teammates? This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. God. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. 
Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Guys, spot my body. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Oh, not this again. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. It's like taking a passport photo. Don't smile. Oh god. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is oh, this? Whoa. We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. Does that mean the Geth dies, though? Is, I think, what we're really wondering about. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth's fighters. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. The architecture reminds me a little bit of control. Ugh. Establishing connection to access point. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Geth rifle is like the kind that's continuous. Not individual bullets. Got you. I don't imagine I'll really be needing it in here. Unless if we get found out and somebody tries attacking us. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. Are you surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. I'm using a Geth rifle to destroy the Geth stuff. Good enough. Do you want all of it gone? Uh, I don't want to waste all of my ammo though, because we might not be able to get a refill. Oh! Nearly walked off. Okay, I gotta ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Huh. And thanks. I think. Yeah, there's still a lot of, like, that code here. Oh, wait, I'm, uh, I think my stuff is refilling periodically. Thanks, Legion. Yeah, maybe I should put a little bit more effort into destroying everything then, huh? Although I get the impression it won't really do anything. They should know we're in here soon. Hey, what happened to you giving me back free ammo? There we go. Wait, aren't we just going back the way we came from? We went in a circle. Or can I just step off here? Is that okay? Or continue. Connection 
connection established. Proceed to the access point. <clears throat> Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Whoa. We gotta find the weak points, specifically. That doesn't look good. Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Not good enough? That's looking a little bit better. Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI networks? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Geth. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. Ancestors, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing Zero One circuitry? Well, it needed resurgery. It's like remembering your own birth. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the Koreans masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. Ah, curses. We could have found out here what they look like. And that was footage from 300 years ago. There's a whole stream. It's everywhere. This joins this place again. Alright, that's very cool, but not exactly how we want to advance, I would imagine. Here. Yeah? Oh! There's another one. Oh, it's not reaching. You must disrupt the infection on this data cluster to continue. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Hey, all I gotta do is hold down. Good thing we brought the one Geth rifle today. Mm hmm. What happens if we fall down? I don't want to find out. This data cluster contains information timestamped 290 years ago. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the audio. You may proceed to the last data cluster. And then it got shut off, so it doesn't have memories of stuff past that point. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests! They're pinned! Open fire! Oh god. One's going for a weapon! Because you're attacking it. So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Establishing connection with the remaining server node. Hmm. This is not the kind of mission I had in mind for today. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Oh. 
Shepard's working on shutting down the server, Admiral Ron. I can fill you in. The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. They've lost connection. Oh god. Half their fighters have stopped functioning. We will continue to hold out as long as we can. Legion, give me an update. One more remained. One more What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Continuing. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code is oh. adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. You mean like further away? Uh, okay, that makes sense. What can you replicate from if there's nothing to begin with? Is this really all gonna go so well? Nobody gonna come get us? There's another node. There's two more. That we can see, at the minimum. You coming back? Access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper infection. There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Target this spot to slow its growth for the data cluster. I got you, I got you. You mean the spot? The spot right there, and then come back here. Good enough. point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. No, not good enough. Uh oh. Legion. Oh, thank you. Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. I thought I had been doing that. Is there more? Yes. Legion, if you could please give me some refills. I don't have my other weapon here. It's just the Geth rifle. Good. This one? I can't shoot for some reason. Like, it won't let me shoot. What the heck? I'm pressing... Pressing the fire button right now. It won't let me shoot. That is strange. Let me try reloading. There we go. Thank you. Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the Geth! This is insane! We need the Geth! You can't just destroy them for asking- <gasps> Whoa! Time's up! Throw her in with the others. What?! Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. Well, because organics have a failing memory, all we can do is rely on people to pass it down. But you guys have a perfect memory. You literally record everything that happens. 
that's insane though, arresting their own Quarian people just because she was um, a Geth sympathizer, I guess. I can understand that initial reaction because it's really scary, right? For example, if I was making a macro in Excel and then suddenly it came to life somehow, that's so scary. The first thing that I would want to do is probably delete it or close Excel or something, right? But at some point, at some point, I feel like you just run into this place where you realize, oh, okay, this isn't, this isn't working because it seems like they are conscious. And yeah. I'm not sure whether this debate really even matters right now anymore though, because the fact is, the Korgans and their Geth are in a war. And it doesn't matter what your enemy is, right? You're still in a war. Okay, for some reason now, Legion is super quiet now. Oh my god. Let me see if reloading fixes this. Are we happy enough? There's one thing. I need to get a little bit closer. Or maybe I can't even get it. Little bit of ammo, please. Legion, if you will. Actually, Legion might not be the one giving me back ammo. Maybe it's just the gun recharging itself. Because it's a, it's a laser, so it doesn't even need ammo, actually. Not traditionally, anyway. Um, no? Do you want more? There's more somewhere that I can't really... We disconnected that end. This one might be a little bit too far for me to get. Ah! I could get that one, but only if I walk to the very edge here. I see. I repeat, release the rogue gas units and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Megara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnels as- <gasps> Oh! Creator Megara, what is your status? Dead. Creator Megara. As time passed. Yeah, sorry about the, the quiet volume. I don't know how to fix it either. I tried closing the game, but it's still completely quiet. Hmm. Are we almost done this part? One more? Accessing data. Do not engage the oh. Geth. I repeat, avoid contact. Geth pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rana. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the last Corians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion, that's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Oh. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. 
You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection admire? Server node established. We are ready to transport you. It sounds like the bulk of the Geth's actions are really just based off self-preservation and they're... At least before the war and all this stuff, they were quite passive. They mostly stayed within the Perseus Vale, right? It's not like the Krogans where they're actively trying to conquer the whole galaxy. They're pushing the Quarians out because the Quarians are trying to kill them. So that should be in Room there. Access acquired, severing all connections to this communication node. Gath no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You you must put to the must put to the core and disconnect from mother. You don't gotta tell me twice. I'm going. Got a bad feeling. Terminating remote access. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Thought we were gonna get hunted down. Commander, you okay? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Oh! No. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? So that they wouldn't die. They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. <sighs> we were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarian sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. That's probably true. I can't disagree with that. I don't appreciate being lied to, even by omission, but okay, fine. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Oh my god. Let's get back to the Normandy. It's kind of insane though. People will definitely freak out. Oh my god, those prime units are so tall, holy crap. 